evoke a human rights lawyer any behi f young has reacted to the notable two notable actions carried out by operators of the department of state services dss on monday morning politics nigeria report that operators of the dss earlier picked up the president of the nigeria labor congress nlc comrade joe ajero and subsequently invaded serap's office these actions by the secret police have continued to generate reactions across the country joining the flurry of reactions f young in recent in a series of posts on his ex and condemned the actions of the DSS and opined that the spirit of the late head of state, General Sani Abacha, has taken over the presidential villa. Sani Abacha was Nigeria's military dictator and statesman who the generality of the country believed ruled Nigeria with an iron fist from 1993 following a palace coup d'etat until his sudden death in 1998. According to reports, he wielded power with an unyielding attitude and his rule eroded an unprecedented total disregard for human rights, with several political assassinations and summary ex executions of uh, descendants and political opponents in Nigeria. The reports further added that the rule due disrespect to the country with nigeria becoming a pariah state in international relations particularly with regard to the execution of environmental activist ken sarawiwa you know this statement made by f young you know reminds me of a the statement also similar statement made by ruben abati who was a spokesperson uh, to good luck jonathan uh when jonathan was the president when he said there is evil spirit in Asurog and people are always, you know, people laughed about it. But at some point, people just come out and say, ah, it could be true because uh, what is happening in this country uh, is something else. So also, just uh, Inibe is saying, because exactly what uh, even Tinubu himself was one of those people who were running off after running Etasketa, condemning government decision, not only the military, even the civilian uh, rules that we've had, similar civilian government that we've had. Tinubu has been speaking against them, you know, organizing protests against them, and nobody ever said, oh, maybe it's a treason uh, offense or what have you. But unfortunately, you, you would not be surprised that the same person who was on the neck of the government as at that time, now is not the president, is now doing the same thing. So why would somebody not say that, uh, that the spirit of uh, Abacha has taken over uh, presidential villa? Mm -hmm. They are doing the same, exactly the same thing. <laughs> well, let beg God for his mercy on us. Let us handle the problem of Nigeria to God's hand. I just pray that uh, everyone that contributed in one way or the other for image of a uh, emergence of Tinubu for as president of Nigeria will be a victim of the, his dictatorship tendency. Really, or, or as a battle spirit hidden for 26 years in some of us, just resurrected. Abacha will not even rest in peace. God will revenge on his family. When was in power they no born you to do rubbish being you who his government was the best ever in nigeria steady light free education and so on <laughs> i meant about you. really mm -hmm. this is a uh, somebody has his opinion uh can i say uh ken sarawewa execution was a death penalty for brutally killing his fellow kinsmen the ogoni uh for biz for business tycoons during general abacha regime people will just be spewing what is not where well, somebody say if we are complaining about it you know, it's four plus four <laughs> four plus four is eight and out of the eight uh, you just spent only one year so like this some people say nyc hmm. we pray that will not be our portion nyc now your suffering continues president Tinubu is good and doing a good job for the country it's only nigerians are always impatient so wait until good things come up but everything Tinubu is not and never the cause of Nigeria problem. The problems had been there before him. All people needed to support him and see the good of his governance uh, comes into fusions. I pray to rule after him and solve all the problems and finish final. Everyone should pray. Let him hand over to me. Okay, this one is just a being sarcastic. Sarcasm, 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 sarcasm. Mm. It's sarcasm, sarcasm. Well, stop calling on God to come and judge the wicked. We have prayed and he has heard us. 
now it is time for us to go out there and fight for this country we call our own it will not even come down and fight for us faith will start to work is what mm -hmm. someone said perfectly said point of correction sani abacha regime is not even as worse as this sinubu as this sinubu's government sinubu's government is the worst by far since the amalgamation of nigeria in 1914 that is the truth and 100 percent facts Honestly, everything is useless in this uh, country. Let's is people go to every bush road and cop all these uh, bandits. Why um, Maduguri, a chieftain uh, of Boko, is demanding a ransom of 50 million naira for community before they assess their farms? The IGP, DSS, NIA, and army of this world are looking the other side. A day of reckoning is coming. But now they are arresting Nigeria left right and center looking for syrup to intimidate it's just so unfortunate no matter how wonderful you are there is always someone who is more powerful than you uh, his name is jesus christ he's coming to judge those who oppress the poor the widow the fatherless the crippled the less privileged that is a very good spirit that is required to drive this country better okay fulani esme we know them Whenever a man is destined for destruction, the first mistake will be to make himself more fearsome than his maker. Does it mean that uh, the price of fuel at 1,300 naira has come to stay or what? Exactly, that is what it is. Somebody should help explain to me or are we joking, please? And somebody has already, already come out and say, this is just uh, the beginning that uh, the, the worst is yet to come, that the price of this fuel is going to increase. I told you people when you were saying ah that get this and you tanga the tango as it's like this people don't know anything. There's a racket going on between the Nubu and Dangoti, between the federal government and Dangoti refinery. You think it's a joke, uh this and that. Now, up to now, Dangoti has not been able to even say the fuel to whosoever they have even uh, given that uh power to be sold to. Meanwhile, they've already increased the fuel price. They've already increased it. <laughs> the more you do, the more you talk, the more you complain. It's like it gives a Tinubu that energy to do more, to do wickedly. That is it. The Lord shall keep all of us to see better days to come. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.